Okay, let's see what's for dinner. Some chicken. Eggs are boiling. Let's put them off. Yep. Let them cool down now. Let's see now. We'll get. It's the first time I'm gonna cook. Let. I'm gonna prepare the marinade. Some garlic, ginger. You know, mom said to put some curds, sugar, salt, some spices. Let's see how it goes. Okay, got one piece of ginger here. Let's see, I'll skin it and it'll, I'll cut it to fine pieces and then I'll pound it. Okay, let me do this. Seems little old. That's dangerous. Okay, let me finish this. Okay, almost finished with this. Little bit is becoming more difficult than I thought. Very irritating. This is. Okay. On this thought, I just thought about something. Did you? Uh, hear about that? Uh, did you see that song from or hear that song from Tim Minchkin Ginger? If you haven't heard about it, go search and find it on the internet. It's amazing. I like that song very much. It's very, it's cool. I remember that while doing this ginger thing. Wish I could sing that. Fine. Come on. I don't know how this is done, but I'm doing it this way. Best. Okay. Yeah, this much should be enough. I'm not going to make much. Put it, we'll chop it into fine pieces. Okay. This guy is just waiting. I bought him a long time back. I wanted to use him. I should keep a name from him. Let's see if it turns out good. I'll keep a good name. This thing, the knife is not sharp, right? The first time I saw eat drink uh, man woman 
the opening credit scene was fantastic from that day on couldn't stop thinking about it whenever food was the topic that was brilliant same guy directed a broke back mountain lee uh, i don't know ang lee that guy i think that guy's movie it is he's directed that beautiful movie it has been remade in uh, you hollywood also totella suit beautiful not a, not as good as the original but the same story almost word for word dialogue but a beautiful movie the chinese crepes that she makes wow it was beautiful and uh, just makes you fall in love the food amazing okay this is done let's pound it in you go this is clean here mom washed it and a mom or sister sister was thinking that she is going to use it first beat her to it she has bettered me in motorcycling she won't better me in i will better her at least once in cooking okay here we go okay see you after this gets pounded Okay now we'll do some we'll cut some garlic to add to the ginger paste while marinating the chicken Okay here's the garlic let's get to work Garlic is good uh, prebiotic I was just reading I was doing some research on those stuff I just joined the gym so the gym instructor said that nutrition is a majority part well, is the major part of your training if you train day in and day out but if you don't eat well then it's all useless so that, that got me curious when i did some searching online and got to see that it is indeed very very important very important not only for your uh, body building aesthetic body building for your general health as well and not only for your health for your children's and their children's your genetic material so 28 now so never too late to start Just eat all crap before this hope not to eat again fingers crossed okay Okay, let us get the garlic out of the individual cloves. What's that thing? My mom was asking me what did they call these individual things. That's the garlic powder, but this is what is it? Garlic clove. Okay. Now let's clean this. We'll be back. Okay, let's clean up the garbage. All this garbage here. Mm. Okay, just learned how to use the remote control with this. Okay, now the garlic is almost done. Then we'll chop it. Finally, we cut it into small small pieces using. grinded i am planning not to mix this with the garlic uh, with the ginger paste i will mix it while applying it to the chicken okay see you okay let us chop this garlic Dada, I need your help. Dada, you have to pound this uh, uh, garlic. Till then, I'll cut that chicken. Dada. Yeah. 
let's see this time we have made fresh ginger garlic paste let's see if it turns out better than when we use uh, when we make paste and keep it for a week or so in the fridge definitely it should taste better let's see Dada, come now. Where's that bowl? Okay. That the ginger. Okay, how did you pound this? My dad pounded this. Look, it's the ginger which we had cut earlier. It has become nice and small. Not as fine as you would get in the mixie, but cool. It's okay. It's okay for what we need. According to me, at least. Okay, time to put the garlic into this. Oh, that's me. I'm a little dirty. Only I don't care. But I have to tell my mother it fell on the table. Don't eat my stuff. If you're comfy with that, then you can eat it. Okay, fine. Here's here's your garlic. Let's pound it. Here's the thing. This is going to take some time. Dad, Dad's going to help. Dad, take this. I'll cut the chicken till then. Take. Okay, time to wash the chicken. I'm not sure if my mom washed the chicken, but anyway, still I'm washing. Okay, dad pounded the garlic, just come paste. It's okay. Uh, once this gets baked, this might also taste good. It's not as fine as what will come in the uh, food processor, but it's good. Let's put this. Yeah. Okay, got two pieces of chicken here. What I'm going to uh, do is make small uh, in cuts, kind of incisions on the meat, so that the uh, I can put the the marinade goes into the meat. Tastes better after baking. Small incisions. Okay, this is done. Okay, fine. And comes the leg piece. I'm not going to cook more pieces of chicken because my mom might not like it, and then chicken will she will be wasted.
I like the, I like spicy and with masala and also I'm making I want a lot of masala to go in. A lot of spice, spice, uh, healthy spice, not uh, not any any at all anything. Okay, where else? Okay, fine, that's sufficient. Yep, that's enough. Okay, now let's marinate it. Okay, let's get the bowl. Okay, two pieces of chicken here. Okay, here's the chicken. Ooh. Let's prepare the marinade. Little bit of chili powder, chili powder. Little bit of chili powder. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Maybe I can add more. Let's. Then I'll take the garlic. Only the garlic. Because I want the garlic to go in first. I don't know. I have a hunch. Okay, let's we'll rub it in with with the garlic and the chili powder. Okay, I'll put the ginger later. Little bit. I don't like ginger that much. I don't know. Okay, here I have a lime. Cut it into half. Don't be stupid. One whole lime. I'm using one whole lime. It's difficult to get you. Okay, one whole lime. No seeds. No seeds. Looks like I'm not going to better separate this away. Okay. Second. Hey, hey. Again, I forgot. Seeds, man. Seeds. Only two pieces, na? Rub it in. I'll uh, put in some curds and keep it for some time. Don't do this. This is stupidity. Okay, it's fine. This is what happens if you don't have anyone to help you. It's okay. This is this. I'm going to pound some pepper. Oh, salt. That's what I forgot. That's what I forgot. Okay.
Okay, that's that's some pepper. Don't judge me, please. Get the salt. So salt. I think the chili powder is less. Because I put a lot of goods. Please, please don't fall too much. Okay. Fine. Okay, this goes in the fridge now. Till mom comes, then we put it in the oven. Okay, so this is your final marinade. Can I do one more piece actually? Nonetheless, let it be. Life of chicken. So first I'll put the tray so that no crap falls in the oven rods because they become red hot and we don't want them to get spoiled. Now I will place this on the center center of guideways so that I can put both the rods. No, what I'll do is I'll put this on top so that this oh I wipe that okay give it stop it okay what are you showing okay let me wait okay it's not going to stop it okay now I put the two chicken pieces here uh, I'm going to talk very loudly because the water is flowing. Two chicken pieces here, which I marinated for 15 minutes, I kept it in the fridge. And then I put a tray on the guideway below it because I don't want the marinade to fall when it is not cooked. I mean, when the marinade is wet, to fall on the oven floor, which will damage the rods. There are rods here which become red, almost red hot. So I don't want them, them to be get damaged. These are the rods here. I don't want them to be damaged. And down, this is the breadcrumb tray, whatever, crumb tray, I don't know, when you bake or something, it happens. That, that, that my, whoever bought the oven knows about that. Okay, let, now let's uh, close it. Okay, now, what temperature? Uh, I am not exactly sure how, how to do these uh, settings. So what I... I have just decided to use both the rods. There are a couple of rods on top of the, uh, on the, uh, what was, uh, ceiling of the oven. What is this called? Okay, top of the oven and bottom of the oven so that they heat from all the sides, the food. This on the grill. So I will select that, which is this, this particular knob. And then I will select a temperature of uh, two, 230. Mm. This is approx 230. And then keep it for... 30 minutes 30 minutes so now once I uh, wind the timer it will take 30 minutes and then then a small bell will ring then let's see if it's cooked on what's that mm, yeah 32 oh, it doesn't matter yeah. take me also now wait okay uh, the cat oh. Uh, okay, now this is my first uh, use of the oven. I hope it works. Well. Wish me luck and hope it's tasty. I'm hungry. Bye. Uh, the timer is up. In between, the oven was making uh, uh, noises, so I got scared and I put it lower the temperature. And uh, I kept the kept everything else same. Let's see. If it's cooked on water, keep for some more time. Okay. Okay. I, I don't have a glove. Okay. 
heavy. No, it's still raw. Some more time. So I'm going to reintroduce it. I'll put the heat higher this time and uh, keep it for another 20 minutes. The heat was on, on somewhere around little more than 150. This time I'll keep it more than 200, so around 220 for 20 minutes. So I increase the heat with uh, some just above 200 and uh, and put the just for 20 minutes. Let's see, 20 minutes more. I have to wait for so long. Okay, now the timer is out for the second time. Let's see if it's finally cooked. This tray is hot, you know. I'll put the tray down. I don't want to get burned by the tray. So I'll remove it and keep it on the table. Okay. Not of two. Mm, seems cooked. This is also cooked. No? So oh, I feel it is finally cooked. So let's see the tasting is remaining. So finally you can quench my hunger. Okay. Follow me, camera and well, to get on eating. What is watering? Okay. Come, focus on the kitchen, uh, chicken. Yum, yum, yum. Are Camera, let it focus at least. Okay. Lying. Okay. Mmm. Can taste lime. That's good. I knew if I had put the lime earlier, it would make a difference. Else, even the garlic. Mmm. Not bad. Let's give it to my dad. Camera follow. Okay, my dad is going to sample it and then uh, give his Anthony Bordeaux style comments. It's so hot, dad. You can just remove it and eat it. Be careful. Oh. Hmm, nice. Hmm? How many? Out of 10 stars, how many? How many stars? Mm, six. Six, come on! The camera will vote now. Okay, so signing off. Say move. Pirate Julian Korea. Ciao, bye. <coughs> Anyways, this was a very nice experience. What? Okay, so, uh, most of the chicken is remaining from yesterday. I was uh, very tired and didn't cook, cook the rest of it. And uh, mom also was tired. So now I'll preheat the oven and we'll, I'll uh, bake the rest of it. Uh, whole night it was marinating in the marinade. I'll just preheat the oven for 10 minutes or at 200 degrees. Is it Celsius or Fahrenheit? Celsius. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's Celsius. 200 degrees Celsius and uh, then I will uh, cut the small uh, chicken. Small, I'll make small cuts on the chicken so that the ma masala goes in for 10 minutes. I had not done that yesterday. I should have done it, but I didn't do it. And then, uh, then we'll put the chicken inside. Okay, so let's preheat the one. Here we go. Okay. So, everything's fine.
Ja. Da steht er noch und werde das kommen. Okay. I choose both the rods. Uh, all four sides heatings. Those uh, heating rods are there here. Filament or whatever they call. And I'll keep it for. Choose a temperature of 200. Keep it for 10 minutes. So let's the oven preheat. Then follow me, camera, and we'll go and get the fetch the chicken and we'll make small cuts on it so that the spice goes into it. Camera, follow me and get the chicken. It has been marinating all night. See so here's it. So I will take I'll you I'll take a knife and I'll just make small slits on the chicken so that the uh, spice enters the meat. Okay, get better. I like masala taste. Okay, fine. Come. Okay, here's the chicken. Small slits on it. It's, it's kind of stiff because it has been in the fridge. Keep it outside only then. And small slits on this chicken. It will bake also better. Yesterday it turned out very well. And I want to prove that it is not luck. I can repeat it. <laughs> like a sniper. This one shot can always be lucky. But if you can repeat the result, then definitely some skill is involved. Okay, that's one. What is it? Small slits. Be careful to injure myself. Yeah, fine. Yep. It's another leg, leg piece. You can hear the oven make timer counting down. Last two pieces. Hope this turns out well. Yesterday's was very tasty. This last piece. This is okay. Now just mix it up. So that the spice enters the meat. Salt also was okay yesterday. So properly. And uh, I, I make sure, uh, and I should make sure that I completely thaw this before uh, I introduce it in the preheated oven. So this is still uh, slightly, uh, still cold because it was in the fridge, refrigerator. So make sure it uh, becomes, comes to room temperature. Let it, let it be out. Okay, now I'll leave it till the one heats. Okay, now uh, uh, what happened is last time I was, uh, I kept the, I kept a pan down because the fat was dripping from the chicken. And that fat got stuck to the pan and I had a tough time washing the pan. It was horrible. So now I'm going to put cabbage leaves uh, on the pan which is below the chicken. <laughs> so I don't want to wash that stupid tray with all the fat. It doesn't come out only. So here's the cabbage. <clears throat> some leaves on the cabbage. Let's see now. Somewhat to wash them also, some of the tea. Cabbage leaves. Remove the cabbage leaves. Mm, another few, I think this should be sufficient. Uh, how many pieces? There are four pieces, so a lot of fat is going to drip and I am not going to hate going to washing that.
Ok, this should be sufficient. Yep. If, if I'm unable to cover the whole pan. Okay. Now, now proceed to wash this. Okay, let's wash these cabbage leaves. Come. It's only to catch the fat. I want to make this sterile. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse the water from this. I'm not gonna I'm not bothered because I'm not gonna eat this. Let's see if it turns out good. All the fat will go into different. I'm not gonna eat it. It's uh, six to eight rupees a cabbage or maybe ten rupees a cabbage. So not that expensive. It's okay. The chicken is maybe 180 rupees, 60 rupees. Fine. Now this comes here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease the pan a little bit and put a little cabbage leaves. I don't want to wash that fat that drips down. It sticks so bad to the this. Follow me. Follow me. So here's the pan which was last time I was washing. It was all the fat had dripped down here. It was such a pain to wash. It took me nearly 10 to 15 minutes to get that crap out of this. Okay, let's uh, grease the pan now. Okay, little homemade butter. So I'm just going to take a little bit of butter. Okay. Apply it here. Grease the pan. This butter is made by another family member. Some more butter. This homemade butter from our own, uh, from the milk that we get. Okay, fine. Hope next time I don't have such a horrible time washing this. Okay, fine. Now for the cabbage leaves, just to arrange them here. I am cutting them because they are not flat. So... The leaf, no? most of the fat will drip in the center only. I'm going to wash this. Okay, this is this was the grill of the chicken. I'm going to grease it with a little butter, homemade butter. Okay. 
Mr. Grill. They mentioned in the manual of the oven to grease the grill and the pan so that it's easier to clean, I guess, I'm guessing. Huh? Yeah, I was just going to... Uh, the reason you grease the grill so that it doesn't stick yeah, and yeah. it doesn't burn yeah. the underside. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. Now let's put the chicken on top of this. Come. Follow me, camera. Okay, now, now we have our four pieces of chicken here. Mm. That is the marinade. Yeah. Now you'll have to uh, you'll have to state uh, how you make. The yeah, mar uh, the marinade. Okay, this is the same marinade which I made yesterday, but uh, I, I I used what fresh. Yeah, yeah, I used fresh freshly pounded uh, garlic, mm. ginger, mm. pepper, mm. Uh, chili powder, mm. curds, Cur uh, salt. Mm. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, mm. How do you get that uh, red, that brown? Color? Yeah, that's a chili powder. Chili powder. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh, ah, pepper. Pepper was freshly pounded. I didn't. Uh, uh, I, I don't have that uh, ready-made pepper thing. Mm. I pounded it in the stone. Stone. Thing. What else I'm forgetting? Anyways, if I re recollect, I'll tell you. No, no, no. You have to recollect because. No, yesterday I made the same marinade. This is the second part. You are recording now. No? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday I made uh, I made the same two pieces, the same marinade. I forgot what I put yesterday. But yesterday's two pieces are already done. But then what happens to the recording? And no. People watching. And no, I I will uh, club this recording with the other recording. It's one video. Second leg. Uncle, you are a vegetarian or non vegetarian? I am non veg. Non veg. But, um, uh, Today's Lent? Eh? Not. Huh? You are following Lent? No, no, no. <laughs> nothing like that. Those days are gone now. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. After the resurrection, Jesus said, now I have uh, fulfilled all the old. Okay. Now let's just uh, let's keep this here and uh, let me put this uh, crumb tray. Okay, this got dirty. Okay, let's put the crumb tray so that it uh, the, the oven uh, doesn't get dirty at the bottom. Uh, oven was preheated for 10 minutes at 200. Put the crumb tray down. Then you put the pan. The cabbage leaves. Look. Okay. I'm going to put it just above the oven. It's just above the just the guideways, the last guideways above the rods, so that the fat drips on it. Now let's put the chicken. Yeah, show me. Sure. Yeah. Here's the chicken. Yum yum yum. I hope it tastes all good. Now I put it on the middle guideway. Close the. Mm, mm, wait, this is called dirty. I'll just wipe it. Later on, you can wash it, wash it with damp cloth and smile detergent. Then close the oven. Uh, I will select both the rods up and down heating. I keep the temperature at uh, 250 260 and keep the oven timing for 40 minutes. And uh, 40 minutes? Yeah, yeah. So long it takes to bake? Yeah. And uh, at that 40 minutes, I'll check it again. 
In case it's not completely cooked, we'll give another 10 minutes help and we'll decide the temperature later. And the color has to be a golden brown. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Yeah. And you have to check periodically mm -hmm. the underside. You have to keep turning it over. No, there are heating rods bottom also and it's a grill, no? Huh? There are heating rods at the bottom too. This heating rods... But the chicken is in contact with the metallic surface. Huh? Okay. The chicken is in contact with the metallic surface. No, there so are, it's a grill rod. So down there's exposed... These rods, these thin rods are metal, no? Yeah, yeah. So that will affect... If the chicken is not turned, that might... Uh no, okay, okay. Then what we can do is, the last 10 minutes... The last, the yeah. last 10 minutes, what we can do is, we can put the heating only down rods. And keep the top rods without heating. So it might, it will cook the bottom part. Yeah, that's good. Let's check. Okay, the oven timer just uh, rung. And uh, I, I think it's a big mistake to put the cabbage, it got burnt there. So anyways, let's open cabbage leaf. Let's see, put it in. What's that? Let's see the chicken is done. Still has to cook. So what I will do is, I will just turn it, uh, change the position and reintroduce for, and keep for 10 to 15 minutes at the same temperature and I will remove that cabbage it's, it's smelling this burnt smell coming it's a big mistake I should have done my research or I should have read up on that I should have put some fat trap or something like that okay now I'll just, I'll just turn the chicken how stupidity have to cook it little slightly higher temperature. Okay, let's read. Let's read. Come here. Okay, now I'll remove the cabbage from the oven and uh, it's burning. It was a big mistake to do that. Let's see if I'm able to remove this. Okay, let's put the tray back. Got all this smelly cabbage outside. Back with the chicken. Stirred.
so um. Set it for about two, ten to twelve minutes. Same temperature. Then let's check it again. Doesn't. Okay, the oven just rang. Let's see how it is turned out. It's hot. Yet to cook some more time. Okay, let's put it back another ten minutes. Maybe I'll increase the temperature a little. Okay, the oven timer just rang for the third time. Uh, let's check if it's finally cooked. Too hot. Slightly bland, not bad though. Hmm, I need to climb. It's cooked. 
definitely cook hmm slightly bland you guys should have added some lime you okay, can still add lime what do you think okay let's take it to okay Okay, that is going to eat this sample. How is it? Mm, very nice. Hmm? Yesterday that you prepared, uh, you kept it uh, much longer than yesterday. No, overnight it was kept, no, in the marinade. No, I uh, mean in the oven, uh, cooking time. This is what happened twice I checked. It didn't come, uh, it was not cooked. So I put 10 minutes, 10 minutes extra. And the second time I put a little higher temperature. Second ten minutes. It roasted the uh, effect is good. Hmm. Enough for me. Hmm? Enough for me. Yeah. Listen. Huh? What was that sound? What sound? Some sound came book. No, no sound came. We went and I think from the oven some sound came. And those cabbage things burnt out? Yeah, that was a big mistake.